What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got a comparison video for you. So this is one that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I've teased it on my channel for a while and it's finally here. Today I am comparing all of my silver hollow top coats. So the reason I wanted to do this video is because I feel like almost every brand has a good amount of holographic toppers. Like a lot of brands have a linear hollow top coat or they'll have a scattered hollow top coat or they'll have a flaky hollow top coat. And sometimes it can get a little bit confusing. I'm also a little bit curious about which ones are the most holographic, which ones are the most sparse, which ones change the color underneath, sort of gray it out a little bit. So I'm actually really excited to show you the results of this comparison. So I've actually got 25 silver holographic toppers. We've got a bunch of different varieties, so I actually broke it down into a few groups. So we have our linear hollows, we've got our linear hollows that have a little extra scattered hollow, we have our pure scattered hollows, we've got our flaky hollows, and then we have our bigger hollow glitters. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you every single one of them. I'm going to do little mini comparisons, and I'm also going to explain what each type of hollow is, just in case you aren't sure. So a little bit of a nail polish 101 video as well. I'm going to be showing you each polish on its own so you can actually see the shape and size of the glitters and then I'm going to show you over black because I feel like that represents how holographic it is the best. And like I said, I am only going to be doing my silver hollow top coats, which I know sounds very specific, but like I said, I feel like so many brands have their own silver hollow topper polish and I really wanted to stick to comparing those specific ones. I'm also only focusing on polishes that are either majority or all hollow. I do have a bunch of brands that have polishes where it's all iridescent, but then there's like a little random hollow glitter in there every once in a while. I'm not going to be showing those today because I really want to focus on comparing similar polishes. So yeah, I'm just going to dive right into the swatches, show you all of the comparisons. I've got all of the ones that are available linked down in the description. Not all of them are currently available, but you'll definitely find some dupes if there's some that you like that you can't find anymore. So yeah, let's just dive right in. So I'm going to start off with the linear holographic toppers. Now what linear means is that the holographic pigment is concentrated enough that it actually looks like lines of rainbow on your nail. I do want to make a note that linear hollow toppers tend to look a little bit less linear than regular linear hollow full coverage polishes. So some of these might look a little bit scattered just seeing them as a topper as compared to like a regular linear hollow polish, which I know can be a little bit confusing, but you'll see there really is a pretty big difference between a linear hollow topper and a scattered hollow topper. But don't worry, we'll get to that. I'm starting off here with the hollow taco, linear hollow taco. Like I said, I'm applying them all over the naked nail and then also over black, just so you can see what the actual glitters look like on the naked nail. And then also you can see just how hollow graphic it is when I apply it over black because I think that shows the hollow pigment the best. So this is kind of just the standard baseline. A lot of linear hollow polishes tend to look very similar because there's not that much variation when it comes to linear hollow. So you will see this look in a few of the different polishes that we're going over today. So next up for the linear hollows, we have the Fun Lacquer Diamond Hollow Top Coat. And again, applying it over the naked nail, it is actually pretty difficult to see. We really just have these little specks of pigment that come together to create this linear holographic color on the nails. So it definitely looks pretty basic over the naked nail. Over black you can see the holographic pigment a lot better and I think here you can really start to see the lines of rainbow. So I would say in terms of comparison to the hollow taco one which we just saw, I think they're very similar. We've got the same size super small linear hollow pigment. We've basically got the the same amount of rainbow color shining through. Now I am going to do a mini comparison of each type of hollow. So at the end of showing you the linear hollows, I'll show you what all of them look like side by side. And then at the end of the comparisons, I'm also going to do a full comparison chart. So don't worry, you will see them side by side, but overall they are incredibly similar. So next up for the pure linear hollow toppers, we've got KB Shimmer Prism Break. And again, we're working with a very similar type of product here. We've got the super tiny little flecks of linear hollow pigment. Over the naked nail, you don't see too much, but when you apply it over black, you can see that 
linear rainbow shine coming through. You get that line of rainbow on the nails and it is always easier to see hollow when it's a little bit out of focus, but I also want you guys to be able to actually see the size of the glitters or the pigments in there. So that's why I've got it mostly in focus here. But yeah, this one again, very similar, potentially a little bit more saturated with that linear hollow pigment. The more saturated a hollow topper is, the more it's going to gray out the polish underneath, but the more rainbows that you're going to get. And I know that this in the beginning with the linear hollows, they all look incredibly similar. But once we start to get into the different types of hollow, like the scattered hollow and the flaky hollow, you'll start to see a lot more diversity within those sections between the different brands. But the linear hollow ones, they all look pretty similar. Next up for the pure linear hollows, we've got Enchanted Polish Gin in a Bottle. And this is actually a brand that is no longer available. I do have a couple of Enchanted Polishes in here, this one and another one. And I wanted to include them for those of you who do have them, just so you could see them compared side by side with some other shades, see if maybe you have a dupe or maybe if it's something a little bit different. But again, as far as linear hollow goes, this is pretty much the standard. We've got the tiny little pigment in there when it's really concentrated concentrated and all together on the nail, you can start to see that line of rainbow coming through, especially when you're moving your nail around. And another thing to note, if I haven't mentioned this, which I don't think I have in this video, but holographic pigment shows up the best with direct lighting. So whether you're directly under a lamp or in the sunlight, when you're working with indirect lighting, like in an office setting or in the shade, you're not going to see as much of that holographic pigment. You're mostly going to see silver. So this one I would say is a touch more sparse than some of the others, a little bit less concentrated on the nails. So you do see the color a little bit better through the top coat, but you do get a little bit less of that rainbow sparkle. So still within linear holographic polishes that have the line in them, there's also a subsection of linear hollow toppers that have something a little bit extra in them. And the majority of the time, that means slightly bigger flecks of hollow particle. So this one is Cirque Colors We Trippy. It is is a linear hollow topper. So we've got that tiny little holographic pigment in there, but then we also have a slightly larger fleck of hollow. It just basically looks like a little bit bigger of specks and they catch the light slightly differently than the regular linear hollow polish does. So it almost gives a little bit more of a faceted sparkle. You can see also with this one, it is a little bit more concentrated. So you do get more holographic pigment onto the nail. So you can see that rainbow a little bit better. And you can also see the addition of those bigger specks that kind of add more of a scattered rainbow in addition to the linear rainbow. So I think with the more concentrated ones like this, you can actually see the lines of hollow a little bit better. That's when it starts to become a little bit more opaque on your nails. Like I said, hollow toppers tend to be a little bit less concentrated than hollow polishes themselves. So the more hollow you've got in there, the more concentrated those lines are going to be. Next up, we've got Starly Intergalactic. Now, full disclosure, this is a collaboration polish that I made with Starly many years back, but it is a topper that I absolutely love. So just something to keep in mind. But this one is a linear hollow topper and then it doesn't have flex, but it actually has silver holographic micro glitters. So you can see they are the slightly larger glitters that kind of peek throughout the nail. There's definitely a large concentration going on in here. And in addition to the linear hollow of rainbow sparkle, you also get that scattered hollow with those extra little micro glitters. So you can see these more concentrated ones tend to transform the base color a little bit more. You can see a lot more of the rainbow in there and it does slightly change what the base color looks like. Something that people like to refer to as graying the base coat a little bit because it does add a lot of silvery pigment on top of your base color. So you're going to see a little bit more of that than the black or whatever color is underneath. And then we've got one from Essie. This is specifically from their Expressi line. They had these FX filter top coats and this is their hollow FX filter. So this is a transformative holographic top coat. Now this one is another one that is a linear hollow that has these scattered hollow micro glitters running 
throughout. They are a little bit smaller than the ones from the Starly Intergalactic, but they definitely do pop out randomly, just like in Intergalactic. And it's actually funny, before I swatched these side by side, I actually thought this was incredibly similar to Intergalactic, but now looking at them, I think that this is a little bit smaller. And I will say that the holographic pigment in here is a little bit less intense, which is something that I do notice with a lot of mainstream brands. Their holographic polishes tend to be a little bit less holographic. I'm not 100% sure why, but you can see the rainbow in here is a lot more muted, so it is a little bit more difficult to see, but some people do prefer having a more subtle hollow. So in that case, I would say potentially a mainstream brand might be the better one for you. And then the last of the linear hollows, we've got another enchanted polish. This one is called Instant Galaxy. Again, this is a brand that is no longer available, but it might be available from resellers or if you already have it in your collection and just want to see a comparison. This one is a linear hollow that has a couple of different elements in here. So we've got a scattered hollow micro glitter running throughout, but then we also have this blue iridescent micro glitter running throughout. Out, so it definitely changes the polish a little bit. For all of the ones that I'm reviewing today, the majority of the pigment in the bottle is going to be hollow, but in this case, I would say it mostly just looks holographic. You just get that extra little touch of blue in there, which is honestly really gorgeous. I think it adds a lot of character to the polish, but again, we've got a more subtle base hollow sparkle in there, so it doesn't have as much of a concentrated linear hollow pigment. The focus, I would say, is a little bit more on the scattered hollow here. So here is our first mini comparison of the holographic toppers. We've got eight of them here. The top four are pure linear hollow that just have that linear holographic pigment. The bottom four are linear hollow bases that have an additional scattered hollow in there. And what that does overall is just creates a little bit more of a faceted holographic sparkle. So you don't have to just see the lines. You also get to see little pops of rainbow in there. So as far as the top row goes, I would say they are all incredibly similar. Some of them are slightly more concentrated than others, and some of them are a little bit more subtle. In the bottom row, there's definitely a little bit more variation based on what kind of extra hollow sparkle is in there, whether it's a little fleck or if it's a micro glitter. And then we also have varying levels of how concentrated the linear hollow is. So it's really interesting. All of these polishes that are incredibly similar side by side start to look pretty different. So now let's move on to the scattered hollow. So scattered hollow, like the name would suggest, basically just means that the holographic pigment is scattered throughout. So you're not getting a line of rainbow. You're just getting a random scattering of that rainbow sparkle in there. So we'll start off again with hollow taco. This is their scattered hollow taco. And really over the naked nail, you can't see too much, but you can see the size of the scattered pigment. It's definitely bigger than the linear hollow pigment, but it is smaller than a micro glitter. So you've kind of got somewhere in between here and scattered hollow to me generally looks like space. It's definitely got a starry vibe because there's sort of a random assortment and they all kind of sparkle on their own rather than coming together to create those lines of rainbow. It's best seen over black in my opinion, but of course you can wear it over any color. But here you can really see how independently the color shows through. So if one micro glitter or whatever size it is, it's definitely a little bit smaller than a micro glitter is shining red, then another one might look blue at that same exact angle. They're definitely definitely independent of each other. So next up, we've got the Fun Lacquer. This is Diamond Dust, and this is their Scattered Hollow Topper. So again, you're working with these tiny, tiny little micro glitters that kind of sparkle independently from each other. They don't really form that line. They all have different facets to them, so they don't really look like a line of rainbow. They kind of have that starry sort of vibe. It is incredibly similar to the Hollow Taco one. I would say over Overall, I think the Fun Lacquer micro glitters are slightly bigger though. And I would say that the Fun Lacquer topper is slightly more concentrated as well. So you'll see it a little bit better side by side, but this one definitely deposits more of that scattered hollow onto the nail. You get a little bit more concentration of that. Again, it gives a very starry vibe. Even when it's very concentrated, you don't 
get that uniform rainbow, you're still getting that scattered hollow. So even if you have the same amount of pigment on your nails, a linear top coat and a scattered top coat are going to look pretty different. Next up, we have another one from Fun Lacquer. This is actually their Flash Diamond Dust. So it's the same exact polish as the one previous to this, but this is with a Flash Reactive glitter running throughout. So they're actually the same size as the hollow glitters, but instead of Shining Rainbow, they do have that Flash Reactive super reflective color in there. So I've shown reviews of these types of polishes before on my channel, but basically think of how a street sign lights up when you use your headlights on it and you see that sort of cartoonish glow. That is what this polish has. So here's a little shot of what it looks like with my phone flash so you can see just how sparkly it is. Like I said, it is pretty much the same polish. I would say there's slightly less holographic pigment in here because some of that glitter is just the flash reactive kind, not the holographic kind. And one thing to note about flash reactive polishes is that they do have a little bit more of a grittiness to them. So in general, I tend to do two coats of top coat when it comes to flash reactive glitters because they start to have a little bit of a sandpapery finish, which I know not everybody loves. Next for Scattered Hollow, we've got this Orly polish that was in collaboration with Lisa Frank. It's called Star Glaze, and I was actually really struggling to decide whether or not to include this one because it's actually a mix of holographic pigment and iridescent pigment, but I think overall on the nails, it does tend to look mostly holographic, so I did want to include it just for comparison's sake. Like I said, it's pretty much split between iridescent pigment that tends to lean a little bit into pink and blue, and then the holographic pigment. It's definitely one of the polishes that's more on the subtle side in terms of how holographic it is, and I would say together holographic and iridescent glitters can start to look very similar, so it's kind of hard to pick out within the one polish like this, which colors are from the iridescent glitters and which colors are from the holographic glitters. So that's why I'm saying it, it kind of starts to look more holographic on the nails, but you do really get an intense rainbow sparkle going on here. It's a really gorgeous one. It doesn't gray out the nails at all, which I personally love. And then we've got the final scattered hollow. This is OPI Champagne for Breakfast. Just a quick note, this is a very old bottle that I have personally. I have added so much thinner to this over the years. So my brush is super wonky just because it always just hardens and then I have to add more thinner to it. But it actually is a really great scattered hollow topper. This to me is the size that in my head I consider to be a micro glitter. I know I called it that in some of the previous scattered hollow toppers, but this size to me is like the true micro glitter size and anything smaller than that. I honestly don't even know what it's called, but we've got a little bit bigger of a glitter than the other scattered hollows that I showed you. It definitely has a good concentration in here, although that might be because this is an older bottle, so it might be a little bit more concentrated, and it does have a really gorgeous rainbow sparkle. So absolutely love this one. I'm hoping I will keep it for years to come. So here is the little mini comparison for all of these scattered hollow toppers. And you can see, even though they're pretty similar, again, we see some pretty different looks when they're compared side by side. Some of them are a little bit more sparse. In some cases, like the Fun Lacquer one, we actually have two of basically the same polish with the same pigment in there, but one of them has the added pigment of the Flash Reactive glitter, and that actually does change it a decent amount. So it does make it a little bit less holographic and it definitely makes it a little bit more gritty. And then we also have the variance in size when it comes to these tiny little glitters. We've got the micro glitters and then we have even smaller from there. Now, I always say that a scattered hollow is my personal favorite finish. I absolutely love scattered holographic pigment in a polish because I think it just adds a little bit of extra something to a color and I especially love it with a jelly polish. But I think overall my absolute favorite type of holographic topper would be a flaky and we have a bunch of those So let me show you the comparisons of those So first up I'm going to include this one that I would actually consider to be the outlier of the collection and that is starly stars Now I have always thought of this one as a scattered 
hollow. It's definitely on the sparse side. We've got these tiny little glitter specks in there and they do form a scattered hollow and it actually really does look like stars so it's very well named. But when I was filming this video I actually noticed on closer inspection that this is not a micro glitter. This is actually an irregular flaky. So that's the difference between scattered hollow and flaky hollow. Flakies tend to be a more irregular not necessarily defined shape on the nails, whereas most glitters are a specific shape. They're usually a hexagon, which I always like to call them hex glitters, or just in general, I would say the default type of glitter in a nail polish is a hex glitter. So it was actually really interesting to discover that even though I have so many polishes, I feel like I'll randomly discover something about a polish I already have. And I don't know, I think that makes it pretty fun. <laughs> but yeah, so this is technically a flaky hollow. So now let's move into the more typical flaky hollows and you can see a little bit better what I mean because the rest of them are a bigger sized glitter. So this is hollow taco, flaky hollow taco, and you can immediately see this is not a hex glitter shape. This is an irregular flake. Sometimes they look like little bar glitters. Sometimes they look like triangles. Sometimes they look like circles. They're just irregularly cut glitter confetti that you can pop onto your nail. And again, it gives this really scattered, multifaceted look, especially with so many different shapes in there. You're really getting the rainbow hitting at different angles wherever you move your nail. So it's basically a type of scattered hollow, but it's a little bit more intense because you have that added irregular so if you were a little bit confused with starly stars, this is the type of glitter that is in that polish, but it's way smaller. So it looks like a regular glitter, but it's actually a flaky. So now moving on, we've got the Fun Lacquer Diamond Flake Hollow Top Coat. And again, we're just working with that standard silver hollow flake. And I would say across the board, a lot of brands, when they release these polishes that are this standard, like linear hollow or flaky hollow or scattered hollow, it, they are going to look very similar. So I don't know that you necessarily need all of them, but it is nice to be able to see them side by side and kind of decide what is more important to you, whether you want a little bit more concentration or if you want to be able to see the color underneath a little bit better. Or in some cases, sometimes they look a little bit less holographic. But I would say in general with indie brands, they all tend to be very holographic. So I wouldn't worry too much about that unless you are comparing between a mainstream brand. But yeah, overall, this one is just another standard flaky. I think it's a little bit more concentrated. Now in my swatch, I think I got some bigger flaky pieces than I did with my Hollow Taco one, but I wouldn't say overall that the Fun Lacquer one is bigger. I think that's just how you get it. And when you're working with a flaky top coat, you're pretty much getting it randomized. So some of the nails are going to look a little bit different than others, but overall it's going to have the same vibe across all the nails. And again, we've got a flash reactive version from Fun Lacquer. So this is the flash diamond flake. Again, it's the same exact thing, but we have the added flash reactive pigment in here. Now this actually does a couple of things for this flaky top coat because the flash reactive pigment is not a flaky. It's that super teeny tiny pigment. So one, it actually makes the flakies look as a whole a little bit smaller because you're not getting as many bigger irregular shaped flakes on your nails. You're getting more of those tiny little glitters. And then two, like it did with the other flash reactive polish, it's going to make it slightly less holographic in favor of making it more flash reactive. So again, you can see it on my nails in flash photography, in intense lighting situations. You see a lot more general sparkle, but it's not going to be that rainbow sparkle. It's going to be a more silvery white type of sparkle, which is usual for a flash reactive polish. And Again, it does make the polish a little bit more gritty. So just something to keep in mind. I personally love flash reactive pigment. I think it's so fun. I think it's so unique, but I know not everybody is into it. So I actually do appreciate that they have a flash reactive version of these two polishes. And then we actually have a third variation of the flaky hollow from Fun Lacquer. This one is called Crushed Diamond. And this one is another irregular flaky hollow glitter, but this one is actually a lot tinier. So this is actually a little bit more similar to Starly Stars rather than the two flakies that I just showed you. But this one is a lot more concentrated on the nail. So even though we're getting those tiny irregular flakes, there's still a lot of them to pack 
onto each nail. And it actually, again, gives a little bit more of a scattered holographic look rather than that irregular flaky look. But when you look closer at your nails, you're going to see all of that irregularity between having the shapes and the different sizes. So it really creates a little bit more of a fractured rainbow look. Like I said, it's just very multifaceted and it's really packed onto the nail there. I think Fun Lacquer in general has an incredibly concentrated formula. So if you're looking for a lot of hollow packed into one coat, I think Fun Lacquer is probably the best option for that. Next up, we have another one from Cirque Colors. This is called Delirium, and this is their version of a flaky hollow top coat. And I would say this actually sits somewhere between the larger flakies and the super tiny flakies. It's kind of a medium flake, and we've got a good amount of variation in there. So again, when you have a variance in size, when you're talking about hollow glitters, it's going to create more of that scattered rainbow effect because you have more different surfaces that's going to catch the light and bounce off of it as a little bit of a different rainbow. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does to me in my brain. But the interesting thing about this polish is in the bottle, the glitters actually almost look like they're a champagne base rather than a silver. On their own, this to me looks like a silver hollow glitter, but when it's sitting next to all of these other silver hollows that I'm comparing in this video, it really does have a little bit of a yellowy undertone, but I would say on the nails, it still looks purely silver to me. I think we just get a tiny bit more warmth in there and I'm not exactly sure why. I don't think it affects the hollow at all and I honestly think this is a really gorgeous one so I don't know it's just interesting to see it side by side with the other bottles and then the last of the flaky hollows that I'm going to be talking about today is this one from a England this is the wizard hollow top coat and again we're working with a little bit of a fleck here now this one I think is different than the flakies from the other polishes that I've showed you so far today this one to me I always like to call this a fleck rather than a flake but this is the kind of glitter shape that I see in polishes that I always like to call a diamond like fleck in there. I think it's just a little bit bigger and it feels slightly more uniform so we don't get like little lines or shards or anything like that. We're just getting this almost regularly irregular shape if that makes any sense. So it creates a really interesting diamondy effect. I would say overall this one is slightly less holographic than the other flakies that I've shown you but I think that's just because we're working with a more regular shape. So here's the comparison of all of the flaky hollow toppers that I'm showing you today. I honestly didn't realize that I had so many of these, but the majority of them are fun lacquer. So I guess that makes sense. They really do have a nice variety of different ones. Like I said, I would say fun lacquer is the one that has the most concentrated amount of holographic in their toppers, but we really do get a nice range. And I think for me having all of them, it's nice to kind of pick and choose whether I want something that's a little bit more subtle, whether I want something that looks a little bit more diamondy like that A England one, or if I want something that's really kind of just a sparse little extra detail like the Starly one. So definitely getting bigger with the varieties here. So now we're actually gonna move on to the biggest amount of variety, and that is our bigger slash irregularly shaped glitters. So the first of my bigger glitters is China Glaze Disco Ball Drop. And to be honest, I probably shouldn't even include this one in this comparison because this is only like 50% holographic glitter and 50% regular silver metallic glitter. But I think this is the only majority hollow glitter topper that I have from China Glaze. I do have other hollow from them, but it is either full color coverage linear hollow or full coverage scattered hollow. So I did want to include it just to see how it held up compared to the others. But basically we just have these medium sized silver hollow glitters and they're paired with medium, mini and micro silver glitters. So it really doesn't have that big of a holographic effect on the nails. It really mostly looks silver and then we just get a touch of hollow here and there. I do actually have a bunch of other glitter polishes from different brands mostly ice cream nails that have a different base glitter and then they just have a random hollow larger glitter in there, usually different shapes. But I didn't want to include all of those because I wouldn't 
consider them to be holographic toppers specifically. I would just say they're toppers that have hollow in them. And honestly, that's probably how I would describe this one as well. Next up for our bigger hollow glitters, we've got Starly City of Stars. And this is a topper that is exclusively made of these four pointed holographic star glitters. We've got three different sizes in here. So we've got small, medium, and large. And this is honestly one of my favorite toppers of all time. I love these little four pointed stars. I think they're awesome for nail art. It's definitely a little bit tricky to apply it as normally. And you can probably see me struggling a little bit here. Generally, the way that I like to wear this one is I'll pour a little bit out on a piece of scrap paper or on a mat. And then I will take an orange wood stick or I'll take a toothpick and I'll fish out the glitters that I want and I'll place them directly onto my nail where I want them to be. But I absolutely love this glitter. I think it is so unique to my collection. I'm not sure if it's currently available, but if it ever becomes available, I do highly recommend it because I think it's absolutely stunning. And then we actually have a slight variation of that polish. This is another starly one, and this one is called Starry Night. So in addition to the small, medium, and large four-pointed star glitters, we also have a silver holographic mini and micro glitter running throughout. So that almost creates a kind of scattered hollow base for the star glitters. And again, it's a little bit tricky when you're just applying it as a normal polish. I personally like to apply a really thin coat where I'm just getting those hex glitters on the nail. And then I'll go in again with a toothpick or an orange wood stick and I'll place on the specific star glitters that I want to be on my nail. And again, it just creates a really gorgeous look. Again, I'm not sure if this one is currently available, but it is one of my favorite toppers of all time. I think it's really gorgeous. I think it's really unique to my collection. And one of my favorite things about this one in particular is that every single glitter in here is hollow. I feel like a lot of brands will select slightly dull down a holographic topper like this by having the glitters in the base be silver or just another metallic kind of glitter. But in this case, it is all fully holographic. So you really get that rainbow color on the nails. Next up, we have a drugstore hollow glitter, which is pretty impressive because I feel like those are pretty hard to come by. This is from the brand Paparazzi and this glitter is called Celestial. And this is a silver bar glitter. So we've got these lines of glitter on the nail. Some people think that bar glitter looks a little bit like fur or hair. And honestly, it's a love it or hate it situation. I feel like a lot of people hate a bar glitter. Personally, I think it is so much fun. It's really hard to come across them. And I've always wanted to do glitter placement with bar glitters because I just feel like even though that would be so tedious, it would really be a fun time to kind of create a pattern on my nails with the little lines. But yeah, just applying it normally we get a nice sparse lines of holographic glitter. And I just think it's really cool. So of course, when you're working with bigger hollow glitters like this, you're not gonna see as much crazy rainbows just at one angle. You really have to wiggle your nails around to see all of the holographic rainbow effect, but I still think it's pretty cool. And then the final polish in my comparison is Morgan Taylor. Oops, my bad. This was from their Clueless collaboration. And honestly, in the bottle, this kind of looks like a slightly pinkish hollow glitter, but on the nails, I feel like this always 100% looks silver on me. So I figured I would include it. I always thought of it as a bar glitter, but we actually have some random shards in there that are different shapes. We also have some thicker bars. So it's really more, it's not a flaky, I wouldn't call it, but I would call this a shard glitter just because we've got all of those irregular shapes included as well. And I think it gives off a really similar vibe as the paparazzi one, but this one I would say is a little bit more concentrated and the glitters as a whole are a tiny bit smaller. So again, you're getting just a little bit more of that rainbow look without having to move your nail around as much. And honestly, this is another polish that I think would be really fun for glitter placement, especially for kind of creating a little mosaic tile kind of vibe on your nails with the irregular glitters, I think could be really fun. A polish like this and also with the bar glitter from Paparazzi, it's gonna look a little bit different on each nail. So when you're working with an irregular glitter, like a flaky or like these types of glitters, it's gonna look a little bit different on each nail unless you do very specific glitter placement. So just something to keep in mind. So here's my mini comparison chart of these bigger silver hollow glitters. Honestly, these aren't too similar except for the two starly ones and that's really just a very 
variation in if you want extra base glitter in there, but I figured I would just show you for consistency's sake. And now here is the piece de resistance. This is the comparison of all 25 of my silver holographic toppers. So I don't own every silver hollow topper in existence, but I feel like I do have a lot of them. So it was really interesting to see all of them compared and really interesting to start to section them off into different categories and really see where the differences were in each one, because I always tend to think of my glitters as being pretty much the same as each other. But when it comes down to it, there are certain details that I look for in certain manicures. And sometimes I want a more sparse look for like a little starry cosmic vibe. Sometimes I want something really intense and in your face and like a party on the nails. So it's really helpful to get to see them all like this, at least for myself, <laughs> because then I can pick and choose a little bit better what I'm in the mood for, for my manicure. So hopefully you found it helpful as well. So yeah, that is my silver hollow topper comparison. I'm so excited that I finally got a chance to do this. And I thought it was actually really interesting to see them side by side, especially the ones that were basically the same polish and see how they differed and how they were the same. So hopefully you found that to be a helpful comparison. Hopefully if you are new to the nail polish world or the topper world, maybe this gave you a little bit of insight as to what each bit of terminology means. I actually do want to do a full video on nail polish terminology. So if there's any words that you're not totally familiar with, you can leave those down in the comments and I will add them to my list. But yeah, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. I'm curious which toppers you think are the best in each category and which topper you think is the best overall. So you can also leave that down in the comments. And I'm also curious, do you feel like you need to own the same type of polish like this across multiple brands? Or do you think you would really just want to have maybe one in each category or just one in total? Of course, I am a big nail polish collector, so I like having as many as possible, but I am curious to hear what you guys think. That was really fun. I'm definitely planning on doing more of these comparison videos. I'm actually thinking of doing next my scattered silver hollow polishes because I did do a full video comparing my silver linear hollow polishes that are full coverage, which I will link up in the cards, but I wanted to do a separate video on all of my scattered hollow polishes that are full coverage. So I think I'm going to be doing that next, but if there's any other videos that you want to see, maybe red holographic polishes or something else, let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you're enjoying this new comparison series so far, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. I've already done my black hollow comparison. I've done all of my cool toned purples. And like I said, I also did my silver linear hollows. So definitely want to do more of those. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon and my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Rocketman's daughter, Paula, Ken, and Rosie. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Pookie Bear and Pookie Bear wants to know, can we get a little hint on if there are any collabs you're working on? There's always something in the works, but it's nothing that is anytime soon. So nothing that I can talk about just yet, but I will give you a little update on a previous collab. If you remember, I did a collaboration nail polish set with Orly called the Witching Hour, and that was a set of three jellies and three toppers, which I am so happy about. It was an incredible collaboration to get to do. And those polishes were only available as the six polish set, but very excited to announce that actually as of today, you can now get a trio pack of just the jellies because there were so many requests from you guys to just do a jelly version of that. So now you can grab it. Orly is officially selling a three pack with my three jellies, the purple one, the teal one, and the black one. So I will put that link down in the description if anybody is interested in that, but I'm very excited about it. It was something that we have been wanting to do for a while. So now we finally get a chance to do it. And if you would like me to do maybe another jelly nail art video with those, you can definitely let me know that in the comments as well. But yeah, that's all that's cooking up for right now. Definitely fun stuff is happening in 2023, but nothing to get excited about too soon. <laughs> all right, that's it. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.